This short screencast is designed to give you an introduction on how to import tape-based footage into iMovie. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and open up iMovie. I've actually cheated and it's open already, but for you, you open it from fresh and it may just take a few seconds for it to, to load up. Now, so this is the iMovie interface. You can see the window on the right is your playback window. At the top here, these are all the existing projects and the bottom is your source video, or events, as iMovie likes to call it. You can see at the moment all of the events are hidden, but if we click on this little kind of star icon at the bottom, you can see all the events which are on this machine. Um, just click on one here, for instance, and this is all of the source footage here. Now, if you want to change the layout around a little bit, you can do. These two arrows will basically flip those two elements around. So you can see now I've got my source video on the top and my timeline or project will be at the bottom. So the first thing to do before you import any footage is to create a new project and so file new project. And you can see that there are some predefined uh, project themes available to you. Um, to have a look at what they look like you can just click on the, the thumbnail and they will play back in the preview window. You can see there's this, uh, this comic book style as well. But I think for most projects, choosing no theme is absolutely fine and you can kind of build up the videos in your project how you wish. So we'll give it a name. It's a bit of a test for my typing skills. The next two sections are quite important actually. The aspect ratio should always match up the aspect ratio you use on the camcorder. So I film my footage in widescreen, 16 by 9, so I'll leave it as widescreen. Again, the frame rate should match up what was used in the camera as well. Um, all of the cameras which we hire out from L1, they are 25 frames a second. But if you're using a high definition camera, it may be in 30 frames a second. If you're not sure, when you try and drag a bit of footage into your, um, your project, and iMovie knows it's different, it will warn you. So don't worry too much if you're not entirely sure what frame rate your, your footage was, was filmed in. So we'll just press create to create our project. And you can now see that we're left with a blank timeline at the bottom for where we're going to build up our final movie. So the next thing to do is to actually import the footage from the camera. And to, to do that you just press the camera icon here. And this brings up the, the camera import window. It's quite important to make sure that you've selected the right camera at the bottom. Um, you might be wanting to just record yourself and for that you would use the built-in eyesight. But we're going to use the camera. The other thing just to note is this automatic or manual option. When it's in automatic, iMovie will import the whole tape. Um, it was rewind it and import the whole thing, which doesn't give you much choice to kind of choose which bits of footage you actually want. So we're going to use manual, and you can see that there are these screen, this, these controls, sorry, at the bottom of the screen, which you can use to play back and rewind the video. So what we're going to import is some nice shots here from one of the libraries. So I'm happy to start importing there. We can just press the import button, and this will bring up this save dialog. Now, I want to save my footage in a new event, so I know where to find it. It doesn't matter if you call your event the same name as your project, that's absolutely fine. We can press import. Now everything you see playing on the computer will be imported onto the computer, so you can go ahead and edit it afterwards. Now one thing just to be aware of is that importing from tapes always happens at real time. So if you want to import 15 minutes of footage, that would take you 15 minutes to import onto the computer. But it's actually quite a good chance to watch back your footage and you can kind of see which bits are good, which bits are bad, and, and you'll start to get an idea of how your finished video wants to look when you're doing this importing stage. The other thing just to be aware of is that you won't hear sound when importing, but don't worry, it is being put across onto the computer. So we'll press stop here. Okay, and once you press 
done. The camera input window closes and you can see that up here is our imported footage. And to play it back you can just hover your mouse over anywhere on the clip and press the spacebar and that footage will then play back for you.